Hey guys, welcome. This is Kino. I'm playing on the veteran game Monarch server and today I'd like to show you something about the Craftbook wireless transmitter and the wireless receiver. These two Craftbook ICs are very useful and they are used to transmit a redstone signal from one place to the other without using any redstone or any repeaters. So let's test it out. If I switch this lever you will see the redstone lamp turns on and if I switch it again you will see it turns off. Um, you can also see the levers on the back here working turning on or turning off. So let's get started on building this. I'll be back in a second. Welcome back. So let's get started on building the wireless transmitter. First of all place a block put a lever on the back and on the front we will put a sign um, within the brackets type MC1110 and on the second line you are gonna have to choose a frequency you can use any number or any uh, letter you'd like so for this example I will use Kino 101 um, make sure you get a unique one so you don't have cross signals if someone else is using the same channel it will screw up your redstone. Um, for the receiver part place another block with a lever on the back and again on the front put a sign with on the second line MC1111 and an S outside of the brackets to make it self-powered and on the third line you type the same frequency so in this case Kino 101 um, let me put a redstone lamp on top as an indicator and now let's get some power into the sign so we'll, we can place a lever in front of the sign and if we flip this lever you will see the redstone lamp turning on flip it again and it turns off now you don't have to use a sign or a lever directly you can also run some red current into it and power the redstone current and you will see the lamp turn on and off. One thing that doesn't work is leading a piece of redstone into the side like this. If you see this, the lamp doesn't turn on. Then again, this doesn't work. What you can try is put it into the side like that, but still doesn't work. Alright, so what can you do with this farm? Well, personally I have used it to power all my lamps in town, so that's about 300 of them and they all receive power from the same area. It, you, it does have a large range, over 5000 blocks, which I have tested, and it will keep on updating and keep on working. So it's really cheap to make, and really useful. You can use it for train stations, you can use it to turn off mob farms, uh, whatever you like. So if you have enjoyed this tutorial please leave a like and I will see you later.